Alberto Duterte's predecessor served as the country's 15th president from 2010 to 2016. The Aquino administration was known for its trademark, the Anglican philosophy, or its anti-corruption campaign. Binoy, as he was often called, also served as a senator from 2007 to 2010. He was also a congressman for almost 10 years and the House Deputy Speaker in 2004. He was the son of Senator Benigno Ninoy Aquino Jr. and former President Corazon Cory Aquino. Both are considered to be icons of democracy for their role in toppling the Marcos dictatorship back in the 80s. It was his mother, Cory, who replaced Ferdinand Marcos after his ouster following the Edsa Revolution, a movement that became known globally as the People Power Movement, the most peaceful revolution. Back in 1986, Manuel Aquino led a mostly private life after his term ended in 2010. During his time as president, Aquino was known to have been a chain smoker. He also dealt with several rumors over the state of his health. Tributes and farewells are pouring in following the death of former President Noino Aquino. Foreign Affairs Secretary Tudoro Luxin Jr. poured his grief out on Twitter. He called the former president, see green incorruptible, brave under armed attack, and indifferent to power and all of its trappings. He adds that no matter the provocation, Aquino never showed his feelings. Luxin also begs the Aquino sisters to allow him the honor of sharing their group grief. Because even though the former president was not too fond of him, he looks in admired him. Supreme Court Associate Justice Marvick Leonet, who served as Aquino's chief peace negotiator with the MILF and was his appointee to the Supreme Court, described the former president as a kind man driven by a passion to serve the Filipino people. For Senate President Vicente Soto III, no matter one's political affiliation, when a former president passes away, the whole country mourns. He also ordered the Philippine flag at the Senate complex to be raised to half-mast in honor of former President Aquino.